Now we're going to talk about special product, okay? So A plus B times A plus B is a special product uh, because this two factor are the same. So we write it as A plus B to the second power or A plus B perfect square, okay? So A plus B perfect square, it is a special product, okay? So we'll do that. We will find this out, right? Distribute that chain by chain. A times A give, give A squared. A times B give AB. Now finish distributing A. Now we distribute this B. B times A give AB. B times B make B squared, okay? Now we combine like chains. We get A squared here. This is 2AB. And this is B squared, right? Okay. So this is actually a formula. It's called a perfect square formula. Okay. So when you expand this perfect square, you get A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Uh, some people um, kind of forget about the 2AB in the middle. Then we remember square this A, you get A squared, square the B, you get B squared. And they say, where did this uh, 2AB come from? You see the true AB here come from when you distribute, right? You get A times B, you get AB, B times A, you get AB. So you actually get two AB in the middle. So don't forget there's two AB in the middle for this perfect square. It's easy to forget, okay? Okay, now to help you to remember this two AB, uh, you can try to remember this diagram, okay? A plus B times A plus B. Imagine you have a square. The length over here, uh, the side will be A and then press this B over here. You see this side is also A here plus this B over here. The area for this square, remember area for square is side times side, right? So it will be A plus B times A plus B. As you can see here, A times A gives you A square, which is this area, which is the area of this square over here. B times B gives you B squared, which is the area of this square over here, the small square here. This, this one, this side here, it is A. This side here is B. Uh, this is a rectangle. So it will be length times width. So A times B over here is AB. Similarly, this is A times B gives you the area of this rectangle. So this two rectangle here, um, add together will be 2AB. So when you have a perfect square A plus B times A plus B, you get this A square, this big square, and then plus this two AB, this AB plus AB, that's two AB, and then plus this B square. If you forget about the two AB, you're missing this part and this part, and you don't make a perfect square, right? You don't get a perfect square if you miss this two part. Okay, now let's try to use a perfect square formula to expand this perfect square over here. Uh, the perfect square formula was this, right? A squared plus 2AB plus B squared, which means that um, you square the first twin and the middle one here, 2AB means two times the first twin times the second twin. And then the last one here means you square the second twin, right? So let's label this the first chain. This is the second chain, okay? So you're going to square the first. So you get 5x squared. The two, the two times square times second, so that will be two times 5x times 3y. And then the second one over here, it is the positive 3y. So you square 3y. Put that in a parenthesis, okay? because you're squaring this whole quantity, three one, okay? Now, after that, you square this. What's the square of five X? Remember the power of a product rule, right? So when you square this five X over here, this is multiplication between them, okay? The exponent is gonna apply to each factor, okay? So you're gonna get, Phi square and then times x square. Okay, so that was a 
power of a product rule. So exponent applied to each factor inside if it, this is multiplication, okay? And so therefore this one will be 25 x to the second power. So this is 25 x to the second power, okay? Now this one here. Over here, you will multiply the number two times five times three, make 30, right? So you get 30. And then um, x times y, it is xy plus. Okay, now you try. What's the square of 3y? Everyone? 9y square. 9y square. square. Yes, yeah, squaring the 3, you get 9. So this is 9y square. You guys good? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now we try this. Uh, we discover another formula. Uh, this time, instead of a plus b, it is a minus b. Uh, it is also a special product because this is a a minus b times a minus b. This two factor the same. So we unite them and put it as a perfect square. So this is the perfect square of a minus b. So let's find out what this equal to. a times a make a square. a times negative b make negative a b. Negative b times a is negative a b again. Negative b times negative b, it is what? Positive b square, right? Negative times negative is positive, right? So you're adding positive b square. Now we're gonna combine our terms. So we have a square, this two combines negative two ab, and then plus b square over here. So we have this perfect square formula. And at this time, it is a minus. Now, if I put the two formula together, you see that when this is uh, as addition in between this A and B, then the middle chain here will be addition, okay? So it's adding two AB in the middle. Now, when this is subtraction between the A and B, then the middle chain over here will be also subtraction, so it's minus two AB, okay? And, but the last one here is always plus, okay? because negative b times negative b is positive b squared, right? So the last one here is always addition, always press, okay? So you can put them together. Uh, you can try to use flashcard. Uh, I know nowadays on your phone, you can download some uh, app, it's like flashcard, and you can put those as a flashcard, you can go over. Or you can use it as a screensaver for your phone, okay? So uh, you go, this is one formula that you're gonna use it over and over. So it's good that you can, uh, you can remember, okay, by, by heart, okay? So over here, uh, this is the formula, a square plus two ab plus b square or minus over here. Depends on this is plus or minus, okay? So the sign here is the same sign over here. Okay, let's do this one together. So this is the perfect square of the difference of this two, right? So according to the form, the perfect square formula, if it's a minus here, the middle one here, it is subtraction, okay? So we'll be squaring the first, minus two times the first times the second, plus the second one squared, okay? So squaring the first over here, we're squaring this, this one right here. So squaring this, and then two times the first, five times the second, and then I press the second one square, okay? So I'm just using the formula, okay? Now I'm gonna see you guys uh, can do this, okay? What's the square of this? What's the square of this? Square of this product, right? It's the power of a product, right? So this power is gonna apply to each factor, apply to this one half. What's this one half square is one? Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. Try to guess. Okay. To the sixth power. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, this is one half a q. Okay. And then we square this. Now, because this is a product inside, okay, then the square is going to apply to each factor. So square one half. And then you times this a q to the second power, okay? So 
you apply the power to each factor inside, okay? Now, when, when you square one half, that's one half times one half, which is what? One over, one over four. four, right? One over four. One half times one half is one over four. Now, this one over here, a cubed, a to the third power, and then to the second power, remember it is power of a power, right? Remember what do we do with our power? Multiply. We multiply our powers, right? Power of a power, we multiply our powers. Remember the slogan I make, right? So, so when you have this power of this power, right? This is a to the third power, and then this whole thing to the second power, we call this power of a power. Uh, remember, students have a hard time remember that rule. So I make up a slogan. I say, power of a power. We multiply a power. So uh, when I say multiply power here, I mean multiply this two exponent. So three times two makes six. So we multiply them. Okay. So then over here, we get a to the sixth power. When you watch the lesson we do, you remember that. Okay? So multiply. Okay, so this one over here, it is one fourth and then a to the sixth power, okay? Okay, now what about this middle chain? The two here, one half here, multiply become a one. So we have this minus a q b over here, right? Okay, and then finally the last chain here is plus b squared, and now we are done. Okay, <laughs> do you guys have a question about this? I should slow down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna give you um, some challenge problem to do. We're gonna go over some challenge uh, problem, okay? So this is intermediate algebra. So we will go a little bit uh, further than elementary algebra. So uh, we will try to uh, expand a perfect square like this, okay? But first of all, remember the perfect square formula here. So if I call this the first, and this is the last, uh, label this F and then label this L. So basically what it says uh, for the perfect square formula here means you square the first plus two times the first times the last, and then plus the last one squared. So remember that. So you try to remember that way. So when you have this perfect square over here, let's consider this the first. This whole thing here inside this parenthesis as the first. Then consider this four over here as last, okay? Because I want to have uh, use the perfect square formula, this one here you consider corresponding, uh, this is the first, and then this put consider as the last. You need to have this two part, okay? In order to use this formula. So when I expand this, I'm going to square the first, so I'm gonna square this, okay? So squaring by a plus b, okay? Plus, what should I put in the middle? Can you guys tell me what should I put in the middle? According to the formula? Two times five a plus b times four? Yes, you got it, okay? So that will be two times the first, which is by a plus b in parentheses, and then times the last, which is four, okay? Finally, adding the last one squared, okay? The last over here is four, so you're adding four squared, okay? So once you get this step done, then later it will be a little bit easy, okay? Now, we are not done right now. Uh, we still need to continue to expand this. Well, when they say expand that, that means they multiply out, okay? So continue to multiply out this uh, perfect square over here. Use this perfect square formula, okay? So we need to break it down. So can you tell, oh, so we should have three chain like this. We should have three chain, one, two, three, three chain. Tell me what will be the first chain. Five A squared. Uh, phi a square, uh, the square of this phi a in the parentheses, right? Okay. So, yes, you got it. Okay. So you have phi a square. Okay. But the phi a has to be in the parentheses. Okay. And then the middle one will be two times this phi a times this b, two times the first times the second, first, second. Okay. 
and then press this sec uh, this last one over here square, right? The B here square. So when we expand that, you should get three chains. Don't forget the middle chain, okay? Okay, so use the formula, okay? Now this part over here, you would like to multiply the number. Multiplication is commutative, so let's switch the order. So you have two times four first. So you're gonna get eight. So get two times four make eight in front. And then later you can distribute the eight inside. Now, some people distribute the two here first and later distribute the four. That's, uh, that actually have more steps. So if you have two times four first, you only need to distribute this number once, right? So it'll be easier to, to multiply two with four first to get eight and then later distribute, okay? Over here, four square, it is 16. So 16 here, okay. <laughs> now, finally, uh, we will continue to uh, simplify this, like expand this. 5a squared, remember this power applied to each factor. So 5 squared, it is 25, and then a squared over here, plus, plus what? 10a times b? Yes, 10ab, okay, and then plus b squared, okay. Press B square. And then this one, when you distribute the A, you get 40A plus 8B, right? And then now adding 16. Is there any lighting to come by over here? Do you think you have any lighting to come by? No. No, no lighting to come by. So you just need them like this. Right? Okay, now, uh, what about if you have a perfect cube? Okay, this is a cube, okay, to the third power. Now, Let's discover the formula uh, to expand this perfect cube. First, we break it into a plus b to the first power times a plus b to the second power, okay? Because uh, one plus two makes three, right? So first power, you get times second power, you get third power, okay? So we know how to expand this perfect square. It is what, everyone, do you guys remember? A plus B perfect square equal to what? A square uh, plus, two. plus two AB plus B square. Perfect, good job, okay? Now everyone remember. Now after that, you're going to um, distribute chain by chain. So we take A to times each chain here. So A times A square give me A cube. A times two AB give me this. A times B square give you that. B times this. This is a squared b, b times that is 2ab squared, b times this is b cubed. Now you combine like chain. So a cube over here, this two are like chain, combine them, we add the coefficient, two plus one makes three, so you get three a squared b. This two combine, we get three ab squared, this by itself, b cubed, okay? Now this is the cube, a formula, a cubic formula, okay? If you have a perfect cube and expand that, you get this. Now, somebody say, let me tell you some interesting fact, okay, in math, okay? So it's called the Pascal triangle, okay? So A plus B over here, you see the coefficient here is one and one, okay? A plus B squared here, you see when you expand that, you get this. Look at the coefficient. That is one, two, one, one, two, one. A plus B cube, look at the coefficient here. One, three, three, one. One, three, three, one. And you see, it's actually proven, okay? The pattern is going to follow uh, like this, okay? So the coefficient will be like that. See this on the side, it's always one like this. And then in between, it's going to sum this two. So this two add up to two. One plus two add to three. Two plus one add to three. Uh, guess what happened to a plus b to the four power? So the coefficient will be what? One, four, six, four, and one. So those will be the coefficient for uh, the chains. And then the pattern is like this. So it will be a to the four power. That's a to this four power. And then this is four. Now this time the exponent on a is going to decrease by one. So it's a cube, and then exponent on b increased by one, so it'll be b, and then six, 
and then this time a square b square and then four a b q and one b to the four. Uh, when you go there and we see the exponent on a is going to be in descending order. So a to the four a q a square a and no a. Here b b square b q and b to the four. Okay. Now and the pattern here is going to continue. Okay. Yeah. So that's called the Pascal triangle. So that might help you remember this formula. Okay. Okay. So today uh, we would uh, we have this two uh, actually three formula. This perfect square formula, this two perfect square formula, and then this perfect cube formula.